How can we stop tumors from shutting down the immune response against cancer? We're here in the lab of Dr. Vince Luca, who studies molecular factors that drive the immune response against cancer. Thanks, Dr. Luca, for having us today. No problem. Let's talk in general about the immune response against cancer. How do tumors defend themselves against the immune response? Tumors use a variety of mechanisms to evade recognition by the host immune system. And so one of these mechanisms is that they upregulate proteins called immune inhibitory receptors on the surface of the cancer cells. You most recently studied a protein called LAG3, which is on T cells. Tell us about that. The LAG3, under normal conditions, plays a beneficial role because it helps ramp down the immune system following a bacterial or viral infection. But uh, tumors have learned how to hijack the function of LAG3. Um, and so what they do is they activate the LAG3 receptor to turn off T cells um, in a way that they can thrive in the host and evade recognition by the immune system. You studied the 3D structure of LAG3. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we were really interested in the function of the LAG3 protein down at the molecular level. So we wanted to understand um, how it was organized on the surface of T cells. So how do you do that and study a 3D structure of a protein? So we use a method called X-ray crystallography to visualize proteins at near atomic resolution. We can map where therapeutic antibodies bind on the surface of the LAG3 protein and this information can then be used to guide the development of even better antibodies that can more effectively block LAG3 function. And so by doing this, we hope to make more potent, more effective drugs, but we also hope to maybe even expand um, the ability of these drugs to target LAG3 and cancers besides melanoma. A very exciting progress. Well, thank you, Dr. Luca, for letting us visit your lab today.